Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Dreamer here. We're going to be starting a new campaign as England in Medieval 2 Total War. One of my absolute favorite Total War games. We're going to be starting on very hard, very hard. We're going to manage all cities. No battle time limit. And uh, no advice. So let's just jump into this. I'll uh, scroll through this if you guys want to read it. More than welcome to pause the video and take a look at that. All right, let's go. With the Norman conquest and a crowned king came the dawning of a new era for England. Nobles ordered the construction of mighty castles to fortify the realm. To rule this land is a birthright, but to control it requires the courage and skill few possess. It is a kingdom beset by enemies. The Scots press at its borders, the Vikings to the north, and the French separated by a mere channel of water. All of the country exists in a state of war as even the common are called upon for duty. In these times of total war, it rests on the shoulders of those who lead to ensure the kingdom does not fall into ruin. All right. So I always like these videos. Give you a little description of the faction. You know, it's all in all pretty cool. All right. So how I like to play the English is I like to come up here take out the Scots so I don't have to worry about them later on so that is what we're gonna do uh, let's build yeah the archery range because English archers are really good all right that should be enough to take that but we're gonna bring these guys nope can't quite make it okay so we're gonna take our king here King William and come take this rebel faction over <laughs> rebel settlement over there bring these guys with them we're gonna send our princess to go talk to the Holy Roman Empire and uh, hopefully get an alliance with them uh, we're gonna take our diplomat here come talk to the filthy French get some trade rights course I already know where all their settlements are so I don't really need the map information um, one tip one thing you can do if you're a beginner and uh, don't really know how to make money don't know how to start one thing is you can take your diplomat around to all the factions and just sell map information to them nine times out of ten they'll buy it for you know whatever reason and uh, you can make a good amount of money doing that it's you know pretty simple um yep we're gonna send these guys over there let's build the mines here for that extra income all right send our spy up here to spy on the scots yeah, you know they're not too powerful well that looks easy enough what uh mercenaries yep Let's get these crossbows. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's just grab these guys as well. Uh, during this campaign, you're probably going to see me um, buying a lot of mercenaries instead of uh, my own troops. It's a really effective way to push really fast because you don't got to keep recruit. You don't have to keep retraining your men. You know, you just pick up the local mercenaries. And it works great. Okay, so let's get let's take York here 
It's a pretty easy battle, uh, especially since we hired these mercenaries. And I think... Uh, hold off on that real quick. Uh, yeah, so these guys actually have a better attack, but we have a better defense. Uh, they don't have a shield either. Okay, I think that I'm just gonna... Yeah, waste the mercenaries because they're a bit they're a little bit more expensive, but you know, not not too much. Um I'm pretty much just got them for extra you know, extra forces. So when we go and attack uh Scotland We'll have that extra manpower. We're gonna wait because it's way too foggy. Our uh archers won't be very very effective. Okay, so we don't want to attack from that side. But then again, you know, this side isn't too much better. I think we'll come from over here. Uh, send the mercenaries in this way. Like so. Bring uh, the spear militia over here. And I think, yep. Bring those guys there. Set you there, you here, that's fine. And we're gonna set up our archers. Right there, you get running. You guys get running. Get running. We're gonna bring him here uh, to keep the morale. And we're gonna place you guys right there. And let's speed up the, the time a little bit. Okay, let's see if we can bait one of these guys out here. Yep. Nope. Okay, well, they went the wrong way. Okay, don't run away. Attack them. So hopefully we can get you. Nope. They're coming. Where is... No, where are you going? Get over here. We need to support these guys. Let's uh, hurry up and get into formation. Alright, so, you know, they're a bit outnumbered here, but that's okay. We're actually going to bring these guys around. Those are just peasants, so... We should go ahead and shoot them. Bring the general in here. They look shaken. Which is good for me. Get that morale boost. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. Let's get, okay, let's get you out of there. Bring you guys in here. Uh, have you guys push a little bit into the town center. Hopefully that breaks them. Yep, it does. Awesome. Actually, you guys could probably stop firing. Just go out there and do something, whatever. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Alright, bring these guys back in here. I probably could have done this battle way more effectively. But, you know, most of these guys are just garbage anyway, so. Uh, we're getting hit. Did I not kill somebody? Where are we getting attacked from? Oh. <laughs> yeah, this one archer man. He's like, I will kill you all. And then this just dies. Alright, so we lost 203 men. You know, but we did kill 585. And wiped all of them out. So, you know, not too bad. Alright, now that we have York. Uh... We just occupy it. Lower the taxes because I like to have my settlements grow. Alright, we're gonna take all these guys out, leave those guys in there, and start moving towards the Scottish. Uh, yep, just get these guys. Uh, I didn't mean to hit the end turn, but that's okay. <laughs> Right. 
they want this, but yeah, whatever. We're just gonna backstab him anyway. A suitable prince. Uh, no, that's okay. All right, so we're gonna get twenty-five hundred dollars if we take the settlement up here, which you know I'm gonna do anyway. So it's a little bonus there. Bring these knights up here. Uh, yeah, this is gonna have to merge later. All right, where did that army go? So it went north. It doesn't really look like anything that I can't handle. Rufus should be able to smash them up pretty good. All right, uh, can we attack this or do we? Yep, we just besieged it. Okay. Uh, what else we got here? All right. Well, looks like we're out of money. Looks like mo how most of my campaigns start. I'm gonna have a debt within the first few turns, which you know it's fine. A lot of people worry about going into debt early on, but honestly, as long as you're going to be expanding and using your troops, it really doesn't matter. You, you'll get out of debt real quick, especially with sacking settlements and stuff like that. You make your money back really quickly. Alright, so let's besiege this, get a bunch of those. Okay, well they All right, well they went back into the capital cuz they're scared, you know. The English are coming. Got Paul Revere over here. The English are coming. The English are coming. All right. Uh so we can't do anything right now, but once we take this settlement, we should have some money. They say that it's pretty evenly matched, but hopefully we can smash them up really good, sack it, get a bunch of money, probably like a thousand dollars or so, and uh, use it to recruit more troops. All right, so bring this down, merge these two. Um, I. I'm gonna try to bait them over here. Bring you there. Alright, let's try to get this battle done quickly. Uh, we're gonna be in range of that tower, but that's okay. And it's kind of smashing them up pretty good, but that's okay. As long as we kill these guys, it doesn't really matter. Have you guys come over here as well? Nice. Okay. So they're almost dead. Alright, get the archers to stop firing. If we continue like this... Uh, bring you guys, come over here. Um, okay, well this isn't going very well. Awesome. So, send you in and hopefully they break. All these guys are just pretty much trash. Yep, there they go. Come on, run them down before they get there. Well, that didn't work. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Right, hopefully, I don't get you killed. I do tend to do that a lot. I try to play fast and then end up getting my my guys killed. But you know, fast. They, I think if you play fast, it just makes it more interesting for you guys watching. But maybe I'm wrong. By Saint George, our men have taken control of the city. Last, 
Our men no longer command. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain Okay, yeah, we past, we got this. Uh, we're just waiting. Oh, here he is. There's always that one guy left. <laughs> Second time. That's funny. Alright, so we lost a few more that time. But, you know, like before, I said, they're all just pretty much trash units. And they can be replaced pretty easily. Alright, so we got like $1,300 for sacking that. Let's, uh, let's build this. Merge these guys. Leave him behind. We shall continue tomorrow, sire. My lord. Recruit some more troops. Alright. And we can't attack these guys yet. But that's okay. Uh, let's get my princess out here. Let's go talk to them. Bring my ships up to the Scotland. Don't forget the diplomat. This guy's probably just gonna get taken over anyway, but you know, 